guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we've got a little bit of an unboxing for you today as well as the review all in one video. So this is uh, a little package I got from PowerAd and this is called the PowerAd 4GS uh, 12,000 milliamp. Uh, this is black and it is a rechargeable power bank. So the company has asked me to check this out for them and do a review for you guys. Let you know what I think of it. So let's uh, pull everything out here. So we got a little card with a little happy face on it. That's kind of cute. Um, this is for emailing them for support. Um, submitting online forms at the support uh, website as well. Um, or simply scan below the QR code. So that's pretty cool. And of course we have the manual and it starts out in English. So the specs go like this. It's a model pilot 4GS battery type that this thing has in it is a lithium polymer battery. Um, 12,000 milliamps so that's 12 amps worth of juice. Um, the input is the lightning port, which you will commonly find on your newer Apple devices, uh, iPhones and uh, iPads. Um, and this port is actually for charging this unit with. Uh, as well, uh, if you are an Apple user, you will use this same cord. Uh, if you have the lightning port on your Apple device, you can use this same cord to charge your device. If you do not have a lightning port or you have a, because you have an Android device or an older generation Apple device, not a problem. Just use your own cord for charging your device with. And this included cord, you'll just keep it around to use for charging this. And when you do get an up-to-date Apple device, then you can use this cable all by itself. You don't have to carry around a spare. So this will charge uh, iPads, iPhones. It's going to charge your Android tablets, Android phones. Um, anything that you can plug into this that um, has a um, USB uh, charging system, uh, 5 volts at a maximum of 3 amps. Each one of these ports on the front here is capable of delivering 3 amps worth of power at 5 volts apiece. Okay, and uh, you can do several recharge cycles on, on phones. Um, as well as your tablets. Uh, average iPad tablet, they say about one and a half times. Um, the iPhone 7, I think it is, or the 6S, one of the two. Um, you can charge like over three times and so on. Uh, you'll get to know the feel for your devices as you charge them, how many times you can recharge them before you'll have to recharge this. Um, it only weighs a grand total of 9.9 uh, .9 ounces, so it's not exactly heavy. Um, and the inches dimensions is 1.77 inches by 3.94 inches by 0 0.98 inches. So it's not a um, huge uh, device. Uh, is that, oh, 1.77 times 3, I guess. I don't know, they got some weird writing on here for the dimensions because that's, that's more than 4 inches, so... But uh, anyways, let's take a look what else they got in here. Uh, how to charge it. Uh, indicator light. There's an indicator light strip on the back here. Apparently it lights while charging. Um, and they tell you when you got four lights on that this thing is at 95%, technically 100%, so fully charged. Um, please fully charge the power bank before first use. Good plan. Um, you also, they make a note in here to recharge this every three months, whether you're using it or not. Uh, and you do get a two-year limited product warranty uh, on this as well, which is really good. So you've got two full years. Now, I've checked this out on the website, and this thing only sells for $30 Canadian. So, well, technically $29 and change. So you might as well round it off, $30. Bucks, and that's on Amazon.ca. And, and I think that's a pretty good price for... A 12,000 milliamp uh, charger pack is pretty decent, and it does have a lot of safety features in it as well. Um, you know, which is good, so you can't overcharge it. That sort of jazz. Um, and I will have the um, the specifications from their website in the link, or sorry, in the description of the video, as well as the link to purchase this one. Now they do have other units too, so if you're looking for something maybe perhaps a little bit lower powered, 
we'll say. They have that. They have other products as well uh, through their Amazon store. Uh, now this, I, uh, I had actually requested the black one because I like black. It's actually my favorite color. Uh, but they also have this in silver as well as rose gold as well. So, and the English in here is uh, really good English, actually, and you've got other languages, including Chinese, I believe, is in here, uh, too. Yes, you do. You do also have Chinese. So, let's unravel our cable here. So, like I said, the, the lightning port end here, it's going to plug in to here, which is input. And then you plug this end into your USB um, hub or your USB port on your computer or if you have a separate charger you can actually use this and uh, the more amperage you can supply for charging this with the faster it will charge um, and they say it does take a couple hours to charge it regardless so we'll uh, figure that math out for you and let you know how long it takes from fresh out of the box and of course we have our light up LEDs that uh, are for the charge status as well as uh, when you used it uh, it'll actually start telling you uh, how much you've drained from the unit within, you know, four, four little markers worth. So, anyways, we're going to take some time. We're going to go charge this up. We're going to test it out uh, on our iPhone and uh, let you know how long it takes to charge this, how long it takes to recharge the iPhone. So, uh, like I said, instant for you. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay, guys, we're back again. So, whew, it was about three hours to charge the main unit up, and uh, which wasn't too bad. I mean, hey, it is 12,000 milliamps. I can't even charge a, a LiPo battery that fast on my hobby grade charger, so that's pretty quick charging. So that's actually really bonus. And uh, to charge this, I actually used a powered USB hub, uh, which actually has three amps worth of juice out of it. So uh, I was able to charge this thing up. I think actually pretty quickly in that sense. So we tested out the iPhone and uh, it actually brought the iPhone right up to 100% uh, charge and I started that at 54% battery power and it only took an hour and nine minutes. So I think that's pretty respectable. Um, it works the way it says it does. It, it charges your device up quickly um, and from you know a half dead battery in the iPhone I think an hour and nine minutes is pretty darn good. Um, and I didn't even move a light bulb on the charger. It still looks like it's peaked right out. So I guess it's going to take a lot more drainage before I start dropping dots anyways, which I can understand that too. Um, now I should be able to get an easy 3-4 uh, charges into my iPhone 5S um, without any trouble. And my iPad, they rate the iPad at about one and a half charge cycles. So that's something further another day that I'll test and perhaps I'll do an update at that point but from where I'm standing at right now with this unit um, I like the look uh, the weight is not bad dimensions are pretty good I mean even compared to my iPhone I mean this thing is about the size of an iPhone 6s or a 7 um, you know so it's not overly bulky so even for the women you know you can throw this in your purse guys throw it in your toolbox even if you want um, so this thing is good for multiple um, charging of USB devices. Um, and like I said um, earlier, um, especially with me, uh, I got a lot of single cell LiPos and a couple of double cell or two cell LiPo batteries that use USB chargers. So I can actually use this and I can free up and basically use this in the same sense as my hobby grade charger. I can have a battery on it and then have uh, two more batteries even plugged into this as long as I'm not going to draw more than three amps, I'm okay that way. So that's uh, actually pretty decent. Um, and I'm thinking I might even experiment down the road. Um, I'm going to pick up a uh, non-powered USB hub as soon as I can get one um, and do uh, multiples at a time with some single cell batteries, maybe through a double cell on there and just to use up even three amps out of one port. But each port does give you three amps accessibility um, for maximum draw, so so that's pretty good. And uh, but this is good for camping, fishing, hiking. Um, you know, have it as a spare, and even in the house. Like let's say your power goes out, and God knows when it's going to be back on. Your battery was already starting to die out in your device. Well, now you've got a solution to 
peak it back up and stay in contact with uh, civilization at the same time. So it's definitely got a lot of uses for it. And for 30 bucks Canadian, um, I think that's actually a really awesome deal. Okay. Now, um, I can't really say specifically anything um, in the negative towards this. Um, other than the fact that it's not perfect. Nothing ever is in life. Um, the, the quality of this apple cord actually is pretty decent. Um, and like I said, it, it doesn't... Just because you get the Apple Lightning cord with this doesn't mean you can't use it on your non-Apple devices because you would just use this as an input source to charge the unit and then use your own cable that came with your Android device or other item and just plug it into the regular port and it is full-size USB port so um, it's good for everybody regardless of the cable that comes with it. Um, and uh, like I said, you can check their site too for, for other different types of uh, units like this and other products that they carry. Uh, check out their Amazon store. Uh, the link for this one, uh, however, will be in the description of the video as well as the basic write-up from the website uh, will be there. Uh, for those of you wanting your star rating, um, I have no problems putting this at an easy, easy four and a half out of five. Um, I think it's a great little unit. It's affordable. Um, it's going to give you lots of charge cycles. So, hey, you know, even if you're gone out of town for the weekend and no uh, regular power nearby, you're going to get an easy three, four charges just even in an average uh, Android device or even your iPhone. So you're going to be through the whole weekend. You will not have any problems uh, using your phone unless you talk way too much, in which case, well, I don't know. Uh, but I've been known to be chatty Cathy myself, and uh, at least that's what my wife called me uh, at times. And, uh, you know, you can kill your battery doing that. And I don't play video games on my phone, so I'm not going to eat up my battery that quickly anyway. But, you know. So, uh, yeah, definitely a win-win as far as I'm concerned. I think you guys should take a good, serious look at this one, especially for the price point, too, and the fact you're getting... 12,000 milliamps of uh, power here. That's a, that's a lot of LiPo power in there for your devices. And being able to charge more than one, charge your iPad and your iPhone or your Android phone or your Android tablet at the same time. You know? Um, and you can do that because you do have more than one port. So that's that's also great. And uh, like I said, they, they do advise you too in the, in the manual um, that every three months, whether you're using this or not, to keep it healthy uh, for the battery and everything, make sure you top it up, you know, and that's a good maintenance tip. And uh, then this way you're pretty much guaranteed no matter what, you will uh, always have it uh, charged up. There's also one of the, these uh, QR code things on the back of this unit too. I think it's the same one that actually... Uh, is in here. Let me take a look here quick. Um, no, I had it around the right way the first time. Well, it looks a little bit different, but it may be the same code. It is a QR code regardless. I don't know what it's for, but um, it does tell you on the back of this too um, about the model and everything, lithium polymer, your lightning port cable. 5 uh, volt 2 amp uh, input uh, output is 5 volt at 3 amps max and that's per port as the manual will tell you it is per port so uh, yeah that's that's pretty good and 100% uh, battery life that's that's good too so pretty happy with that um, what else can I tell you that's going to be about it um, so thank you uh, so much uh, uh, Power App for sending me this to review for you guys. I think you guys got a real winner here. Uh, I'm quite happy with this. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this. And I, I mentioned I would give you guys an update uh, down the road on this thing at some point to let you know how much more fun I've been having with it and what else I've managed to charge on it. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.